Uh, hello everyone, my name is Hayman uh, This video I have created is related to the current situation the world is facing regarding this viral pandemic that has affected almost the whole globe so far this year. As various health specialists, government institutions, and the educational establishments here have offered guidance and advices on how to social distance in a safe and effective way to minimize the spread of this uh, deadly disease. I have thought it would be a good idea and interesting to look at it mathematically. So the purpose of this video here is to analyze some mathematical principles behind the social distancing. So the whole aim here is to find the maximum number of people that we can accommodate on one line, in one hall, in one building, and so on. If you look at it here on TV, internet, newspapers here, uh, on daily basis, uh, hardly you can see any program or any news here in which they don't talk about this social distancing. What I have done, I have analyzed it in a way in which firstly is a one-dimensional uh, social distancing in a mathematical way. So assume that, for example, you have good, let us say, one line, like a queue in front of a supermarket or maybe a box office or a bank and so on. What I did here to simplify this analysis here, I assume that one person can be like geometrically a uh, circle of diameter D. This D is social distancing in which currently is two meters in UK. There are some places in which maybe one, one and a half meters, but my analysis uh, can be for any D here. So if I assume, for instance, here there is a point between X and Y, and then how many people we can accommodate between X and Y maximum so that we obey uh, the social distancing. Uh, the, the analysis is fairly simple. If I assume, for example, there are two people at the very end of those, obviously here the distance between the edge of this uh, circumference of the circle to the edge of the circumference of the circle is L minus D. Because half D here, half D here, then this is D, and then the total length is L, L minus D. And then obviously here now, you have got n minus two people remaining here because already you counted one here and one here. Then if I multiply by d, because each one of them has got a diameter d, then this must be less than or equal to l minus d. And simply here, uh, the maximum number in which we have uh, to accommodate within this length is l over d plus one. Here are two simple numerical examples in which one of them is if the uh, in front of a supermarket is 50 meters, then you reach your conclusion through this calculation 26 people, and if it is 75, 78 people. Uh, the next one, which is more interesting, is uh, if we assume two dimensional. Two dimensional social distancing means how we can distribute the maximum number of people within. For instance, here a close place, a close place, maybe a hall, maybe a cinema, maybe, for example, let us say a classroom and so on. And then because the aim of this video is mathematics, so it means we assume that this is a general closed loop or curve. But obviously here you know the fact that if we deal with a general way, uh, the problem is highly complicated. What I will do, then I take some simple examples. Uh, the very first simple case is rectangle, and in this rectangle here, uh, for instance, if I assume this is L1, and then uh, the width is L2, then definitely here the formula in which we introduce early on, we can apply in each direction. So the maximum number in that direction is L1, maximum number in that direction is L2, Certainly here the maximum number in which we can accommodate in this rectangle hall will be equal to n1 times n2. 
A simple numerical example, assume that you have got a hole of length 35 meters here by a width of 20 meters. So if I use the formula in which we introduced early on, then we will get the maximum number of people here, 198. Now, the next simplest shape is parallelogram, but in the case of parallelogram, uh, we have to be a bit careful here to simplify the analysis uh, in this video. Uh, would I assume that any angle here is greater than 60 uh, or equal to, even equal to a spine? Uh, the reason for that is that if, if this is smaller than 50, Obviously, those two circles are overlapping each other, then it means this has to be shifted a little bit, in which I haven't yet included in my calculation. This requires uh, another video to produce that. Uh, but on L, uh, in the direction of L1 and L2, exactly, you have the same as before. Uh, this is N1 and this is N2. Those two formula we have introduced early on. And then the maximum number in which we can accommodate in this parallelogram room is N1 times N2. Uh, the next very, very interesting case if we have with a circular hole. This needs a little bit more deeper understanding on how I did uh, this analysis here. Uh, what I did here, for example, I just introduced a number of steps. Uh, throughout my steps uh, or method. Uh, step one, for instance, here we need to check firstly here if R is greater than or equal to half D. Because don't forget, if for example R is smaller than half D, so it means this is a small room, you will definitely this is not realistic, and then we can only accommodate one person here. There is no need for going and continuing this analysis. But here we assume that this is much more greater than that. Uh, the very simplest idea here is this line in which we have is the edge of the room and then we assume that, for example, any person can just be next to the wall, which is realistic in this case. Then if I assume that these are those people in which they are uh, putting themselves next to the edge of the in inside the wall, then it means this is theta 1. Theta 1 is the angle in which is facing between any two points here. Then a simple mathematical rule, which is cosine rule, theta 1 can be calculated. So once theta 1 is calculated, obviously here the number of people or the maximum number of people in which you can accommodate on the circumference will be smaller than or equal to 360 divided by theta 1, or the greatest integer that is smaller than this figure. And now what we do here, we come to the second circle. In the case of the second circle here, uh, we exactly repeat the same idea, theta 2, and then we find for the second circle, which is n2, but obviously this theta 2 is different from theta 1. Because in the second circle, you can accommodate less number of people. Uh, a realistic example like Millennium Dome in which we have, which is perfectly like a circular shape. Now the question is, if uh, the radius of this is 160 meters, if we assume like an example how many people maximum we can accommodate. I did here. Uh, I analyzed it in a way, uh, scaled it down, scaled it down by factor of 10, which is 16 meters. And then if I'm following my uh, rule, definitely uh, the outer circle, which is just the edge of the wall, I can accommodate 50. And then if I'm applying or continuing for the second circle, 43 Uh, then what I did here, I uh, did write a small program, although this can even be done on uh, software like Microsoft Excel, but I'm not going to show it to you here. Uh, this can be fairly easy. 
this is N1, N1 means the outer circle, then this is the second circle, the third circle, and these are the radius of each one of those according to my analysis here, and then these are the number of people in which we can accommodate, and finally, for example, you have got one here, then the total is 223. Uh, the next uh, interesting shape is triangle, uh, but again here if I assume a general triangle here, this is highly complicated. But I assumed that the triangle is equilateral, because equilateral can be dealt with much more easier. And then for simplicity, let us just assume that the social distancing value is equal to 2 meters, like currently what we have. Uh, and then if I'm analyzing it uh, in any side, in any direction here, I will get this as the maximum number. And then obviously here, maximum number in which is around the perimeter will be equal to 3 times n minus 1. And then the next inner layer will be take away 9. Uh, then I can't easily say here, uh, why this is take away 9, although I will show it to you later on. Uh, but this is fairly not too complicated. And then the, the method continues, okay, until we either get 0 or a value which is less than 9. Then if this is 0, then definitely there will be one place left at the middle, okay, uh, which is at the center. Uh, but if this is less than 9, still you have got, for example, a triangular shape. Uh, this is a numerical example. Assume that the side of this triangle equilateral, which is 12 meters, and the social distance is 2 meters, then if I'm following my rule, then definitely here I can accommodate 18 in the outer layer and then 9 in the second layer and uh, surprisingly here uh, it is uh, an arithmetic series uh, with a common difference as minus 9 so each time here 9 will be deducted but in this case if you look at it here you will get 0 uh, the last layer but Certainly, this zero means one, then the maximum number of people in which we can accommodate uh, in this uh, triangular room will be this, 28. Uh, this is another different example in which it's not equal to the zero, it's equal to some figure which is less than nine. So I would like you to work it out by yourself rather than me discussing or explaining how this is done. Um, this is like a general method, for example here. So each time here you can calculate three times that, then you deduct it by nine, 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 then you end either with zero or something less than nine. Then if this is zero, then you can add one at the very end. If this is less than nine, certainly here you stop. Um, this is the end, and this is my uh, email. Any questions or any queries here, please do not hesitate to contact me. Thanks for watching.